Hey guys, Cade here. Today we'll be learning how to make fast and precise, awesome Arduino robots that can avoid obstacles in less than half an hour. Okay, so to get started, um, you're going to need these um, materials um, and parts. I will put the links to all these in the video so then you don't have to go online and do some researching into finding these parts. Um, so what you're going to need is an ultrasonic sensor. Um, any kind will work as long as it just has um, four pins at the bottom and it's just an average ultrasonic sensor. You're going to need a standard Arduino Uno. You're going to need a breadboard. You're going to need um, just a cardboard chassis. I actually used the one um, I got these parts from. It was a box that I got these parts from. Um, so I recommend doing that. Um, you're going to need um, two continuous rotating um, servo motors. There's a huge difference between just um, servo motors and continuously rotating servo motors because servo motors can only go to a certain angle and continuous servo motors can go like infinitely. So I highly recommend um, getting the continuous servo motors and you need them for this video. I like um, DC motors too, um, but these are more precise motors, but they're both great. Um, but once you buy these continuous servo motors, you can use them for a lot of other projects, so definitely get those. You're also going to need um, two wheels that fit onto these servo motors. And last of all, you're going to need a lot of wires. Um, you can just get a wire kit um, just with these basic wires. You can get jumper wires too. Either one works. Okay, for tools, you're pretty much just going to need a hot glue gun. But if you want to get some... Um, wire clippers, I guess these aren't really tools, but um, whatever helps you clip the wires together or connect the wires, for example a soldering iron, um, you could use, but you really don't need any of those things, the main thing you need is just a hot glue gun. Okay, so now you're going to take um, your cardboard chassis, you're going to glue the two servo motors down um, as so, um, down on the ends like this to make sure they're um, evenly apart, and they're right on the end right here. Um, you're also going to glue down a breadboard um, next to the servo motors like this. And then you're going to take your Arduino board and glue this down too. Or um, however you want to mount it. Um, you can screw it down too. Um, there's many ways to mount Arduino boards. Now comes the tricky part, wiring. Um, so what you're going to do to start off is um, take your ultrasonic sensor. And you're just going to place it um, right here on the Arduino board. Okay, so next you're going to wire the servo motors. So you notice right here that there are um, three holes for the wires to go into. So you're going to put wires into those. Okay, so you should have um, the three wires coming out of the servo because we're going to be powering three things. We're going to be powering um, the ultrasonic sensor, we're going to be powering the servo motors. If you look at the servo wire, there are three different colors. There's brown, there's red, and there's orange. Um, the orange is a signal, so that would go into a number, so it would be an output. Um, the red is positive, and the black is negative for ground. Okay, so if you look at the back of the ultrasonic sensor, you're going to see there's G and D, echo, trigger, and VCC. Okay, so G and D is going to go into the G and D port. Um, echo is going to go into um, the sixth pin. Um, trigger trig is going to go into the fifth pin, and VCC is going to go into the five volt. Okay, so this is what the wiring should look like in the end. So if you want to pause this video and make sure your wiring set up like this, you'll be ready to go on to the next part of this video. Okay, now that the wiring's done, which was the hardest part, um, now you're going to take your two wheels. and you're going to put them onto the servo motors. And now your chassis and wiring is all set up for your obstacle avoiding robot. Now let's move on to uploading the programming. Okay, so this is the program for the um, obstacle avoiding robot. Um, so right here it says if uh, my servo three right microseconds to that, um, it's basically saying um, I want the servos, if the um, sensor sees um, an object in front of it um, that is less than 50 centimeters away, um, it will turn. So um, this motor will turn off and this motor will turn on. Um, so if you want to, you can experiment with different settings um, 
and you can play around with what it actually does. If it sees an object, you can make it do a variety of different things. You can make it go forwards, backwards, you can um, make it do a loop, you can make it do so many different things. Um, it's just an example of what you could do with it. Um, right here it says else. Um, and what this does, so if it doesn't see an object, it goes forward. So it goes forward until it sees an object, and then when it sees an object, it returns. So yeah, that's how the programming works, and you can feel free to um, play around with the programming um, and mess around with different settings in the programming. Okay, so make sure your um, your USB cable is plugged into the Arduino board and it is plugged into the computer. And you're gonna go and click upload. As you can see, the robot can go really fast and is capable of doing awesome things. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this video. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns about the project, just let me know in the comments. I'll be happy to help. Um, please just give this video a thumbs up because this is my second video and I'm hoping to make more videos. So please give me any suggestions, tips, or anything you want me to um, know about creating a robotics YouTube channel or it's a YouTube channel in general. Thanks again for watching, guys. See you next time.